Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, video one, I figure I'd make a video about my new little Flipper Zero gadget. Um, Flipper Zero, for those who aren't aware, is a, we're going to call it a wireless uh, radio penetration testing, you know, security tool. Um, it has a bunch of built-in sensors, things like RF, NFC. Uh, it has an IR sensor. It has some pins so you can do some additional add-ons, do things like Wi-Fi and such. Um, but basically, one of the things that I'll talk about today that a lot of people have been seeing on things like TikTok and then YouTube is uh, it's used to clone cards, right? So things like your ID card for work, maybe your RFID card, your uh, hotel key, maybe things like that. And that kind of works people up because they think that, well, one of the other things that you might have on you that has NFC enabled on it is your credit card and you don't want your credit card copied or stolen. So I think, figured I'd take a minute to talk a little bit about that. Um, first and foremost, the short answer is no. Flipper Zero can't be used to clone your credit card outright. Um, it can read data from your credit card. So if we go into here and we hit read, I have a card here. Um, you kind of have to hold it up really close. It doesn't work from far away, but if I put it right up against it, you can hear it kind of beep a little. It does a little read. And the information it gives me is basically some of what you can see if I physically had the card in my hand. So uh, card number, expiration date. It also tells me what region the card is from. So in this case, the United States and what currency the card is for. So U.S. dollars. Um, it doesn't give information like who the card holder is. Uh, it doesn't give information like the three or four digit security code that are on the back of the cards. It doesn't give billing information. It doesn't give any of that stuff. So it's missing a lot of the information that you would need in order to actually use the card. In fact, you'd probably be better off just taking a picture of the back of someone's card. So at least you had that three digit code if you were going to try to steal it. Um, so you don't have to be terribly concerned about that. Uh, there's some other security protocols in place, like the chips we see in credit cards today. Um, they're not just storing data to then transmit. They do things like um, uh, create uh, individual codes when the when the transaction is run that can't be repeated. There's There's additional security features built in. Some have pins, some have things like that. So I wouldn't be terribly worried. Where these do come in kind of handy, though, is uh, hotel room keys. So this is a key I made for another project. Um, it's not an actual hotel key, but uh, you can see that it is a hotel key. Uh, and it does totally read this. So if I were to try to read this one, you know, Flipper Zero, you just kind of hit the NFC reading thing or the RFID reading, depending on what you're trying to do. You put it up against it. And you can sort of see maybe that it's going through and it's trying to pull the individual pins off there. I don't know if they'll sync up or the keys. And in this case, it was a MyFair Classic card. I was able to find 32 of the 32 keys and read all the sectors. Um, and then you can go back and you can emulate it if you want. So once it stores all that information, you click emulate and it's now stored. And theoretically, I could use this on another reader and it would work. Um, yeah, so it is definitely a powerful little tool. Um, you don't have to worry about people stealing your credit cards. You don't really have to worry about people stealing your hotel rooms unless you let your uh, hotel room key out of your site too much or somebody clones a master key. Um, but it is a neat little tool. Pick one up if you're interested in, you know, radio frequency uh, testing and things like that or security in general. Uh, I'm really enjoying mine. Uh, I plan to use it a bunch as I travel this year, just uh, doing a will it scan type <laughs> setup. I'll figure out uh, what kind of stuff I can scan with it, what I can replicate and what I can't. But I figure first video of the year, I'd clear the air a little and say, don't worry about your credit cards being stolen by Flipper Zero. That's not really a thing. Uh, lots of other stuff, definitely doable though. All right. Well, happy new year, everybody, and have a great day.